what is up guys how is everybody doing happy friday hope everybody is doing well i am tiff welcome back if y'all can hit that like button for me it sends an energetic donation my way make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings comes out this is going to be general it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't do not force it to fit your situation okay let's see spirit ancestors and guides let's see overall for your we're just going to get your person's energy okay what's going on within your connection within your energy okay let's see for the collective energy spirit ancestors and guides what is going on now this could be you or your person take it how it resonates okay a time to give rather than take conclusions are within reach so something is coming to an end. Something is is definitely coming to an end. I feel like this is with your person, okay? And it's like they might be coming in and they might be needing your help here and you might be like turning away, telling them like, nah, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You know, I didn't, I didn't dealt with too much shit. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to look at the bigger picture, especially if this is your divine counterpart, okay? That this is has the ability to be something amazing and something beautiful okay now is not the time to be resentful or to you know to shut down on this person now is the time to give rather than take to this situation okay because there is definitely something that is coming to an end when it comes to your person or, or a relationship here all right and i feel like somebody's going to be coming to you for help all right and you might be like nah hell no nah, i'm not finna bail this person out or i've done dealt with this before but spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture here because yeah this this is gonna prove this is gonna prove this connection okay let's see what else is going on here spirit instinct so intuitively you already know this is your person you it's like you you know you want to make sure that this person is now take this how it resonates this could be you ending a situation okay because you felt like somebody's just continuously taking and taking and taking and it's like you're finally looking at the bigger picture you're ready to put an end to a situation instinctively something is telling you it's time to move forward okay people might not be liking the shit but just like you want balance in your life okay i'm getting two different stories here all right so take it how it resonates for you all right so if that's your story if it's like you're it's like you've been giving and giving and giving to another situation for so much you feel like somebody's just taking and taking and taking and you're ready to end that it's like you're looking at the bigger picture using your intuition you're standing back you're not wanting to to hear it you want balance and it's and it's hard it's like you know it's something that's good for you but it's also hard to let go of okay if that's not your story here, if this is another situation, if it's your person that's putting an end to something and they're coming towards you, okay, um, don't be despondent to this person, okay, because it's like right now this situation, and look at how these people got their arms folded, turning their back, that's going to keep this situation in a, a bad place, it's going to keep it off balance, it's going to keep your connection off balance here, okay, as hard as it is um, to, to help this person out and to bail this person out of this situation, you know, it's going to come out very, very good on your end. It's going to be something amazing and it's spectacular for you, okay? Yeah, but you're worried. You're worried that this person's full of shit. It's like regardless of what it is, it's like whether it's, you're you're putting it into a situation or they're coming in because they're ending a situation it's like you you're not sure if this person is full of shit or not you know what i'm saying and if it's you ending the situation it's because like you think that there is some shit going on when it comes to this person What else is going on within this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides? What else is going on within this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Soulmate. Okay, so this is your soulmate. And even if you guys aren't together, 
I feel like th this person is always with you in spirit, okay? So this could definitely be them ending another situation, wanting to be with you. You feel their energy everywhere you go. And that's why you're conflicted within yourself when it comes to this person. Like at times you want to move forward, you want to end this. But then, you know at other times it's like you feel their energy you're in love with them you know what i'm saying so this could be in both situation it's like you're wanting to end the situation with this person because they're not motherfucking pushing forward and giving you what you deserve here thank you spirit okay you're wanting to like cut cords with this person because they're not giving you what you want the spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture because there is something ending in this person's life they're coming towards you. This is your soulmate. What else is going on within this connection? Can I get one more spirit? We have sexuality. Okay. So somebody might be, you know, have issues with their sexuality. Um... And somebody's suspicious of that. And if you're the one that's trying to end the relationship, that could be why, okay? But this is, I feel like this is somebody that, like, where you guys with you, they feel like that you're just this beautiful woman. And you're not timid in the bedroom. It's like you're open to explore your your sexuality. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, same-sex energies. I'm talking about just in the bedroom, that energy, period. Look at her, like, gorgeous, standing at the door, looking back, like, come get me, poppy. You know? know what I'm saying like that's what the fuck I'm saying like this person oh they they hunger for you that just heard they want to eat your ass up okay let's see let's see what else is going on here spirit ancestors and guides what else is going on here spirit ancestors guides Anything for this connection from these cards, Spirit? Renewal. You see what I'm saying? So this is definitely like you wanting to let go, but them coming towards you and ending something out else. Regeneration begins with decay. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, at one point this fell, everything fell apart. You felt like it was ending. You felt like this situation was dead with that decay, right? But it's like, it's not. There's a regeneration coming from that ending. And there is definitely somebody coming towards you with um wanting to renew this connection okay um with that he's holding one wand you know a passionate new beginning here um and then on the bottom of the deck we have emptied the ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door you see what i'm saying this person feels very very fucking empty and i feel like you guys are mirroring each other you feel empty at times without this person why because look regardless of where you go or what you do this person is with you their energy and spirit y'all are one here right and so it's like without each other, it's like you know you're meant to be with each other. But there's an ending that is going on for this new beginning. And it's at the same door. You know, he has to walk through this door towards this ending to walk through this to towards this beginning. All right? What else is going on within this connection, spirit? blossoming abundance see like everything is about to start looking up for you in this connection completely like if, if it's like the two of you guys have the ability to be a power couple together you know what i'm saying there's something about the two of you that there's some kind of gift here okay and and it's like you guys have the ability to create something beautiful whether it be a business or you guys have the same like energy like you guys have the same drive here right but there's some balance that needs to be made between these hot and cold energies okay somebody at one time wasn't balanced they couldn't you know balance their temptation their just they just couldn't they were not balanced okay but somebody is finally taking a look in the mirror and seeing that they need to make some changes they need to stop this this could, person could have been hot and cold with you like you know one minute they're like texting you every day and then they you don't hear from them and shit and you're like what the fuck but i feel like all of this is going to be balanced out here right 
Yeah, somebody is definitely with strategy planning on something when it comes to this connection. Let's see what else we have here, Spirit, when it comes to this connect connection. See what I'm saying? Whoa, and it was in reverse. So there's definitely a karmic attachment that somebody is releasing, is letting go of, okay? Oh, so this is them leaving behind another situation, man, and coming towards you, breaking this chain, letting go of this karmic situation, right? Um, you could have children with this person. This karmic could have children with this person, okay? This could be you expecting a child, all right? Ooh, thinking this person might just want you for sex, but they're definitely coming in to bang you down. But that's not their only that's not their only priority here. They are wanting with this door to romance is a new beginning in love. Okay, the door to romance is a new start, a fresh start in love, a brand new beginning in love. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they want want with you. This person, if not, there's no children involved. They definitely want to have children with you. It's like that will regenerate this, this relationship. But there's this karmic attachment that is ending here with these conclusions are in reach. And you don't see it. So it's like you're shutting down. You're pushing away from this person. And spirit is saying, look at the bigger picture. You don't even know what's going going on here we got something in store for you baby right i cannot make this shit up i shuffled and shuffled and it's coming out again Woo! oh yeah this person is definitely coming in to give you that dang thing man Woo! And it's going to be good to you. Spirit come through. Bottom of the deck is the victory card. Success for the two of you. Mm, this is going to be beautiful. For a long time they had to sit back and watch you. They couldn't come towards you because of this other situation that they were in. With the contract it was a serious relationship. It, that it, there, it doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage. But it was definitely a serious relationship. And they had to stand back and watch you because of that. Yeah, with somebody that they are just completely not in love with. You know what I'm saying? With the woman holding the heart in reverse. And it's like with you, they see all the possibilities. Where this relationship can go. You know, what this can be. And they are not in this land of indecision anymore. They have made their decision to move forward. What else is going on within this connection, spirit, ancestors, guides? We have maturity and creativity, okay? I'm telling you, it's like you set your boundaries up with this person when it came to this person. You weren't dealing with the shit that they were throwing at you. You weren't dealing with no third party energies. You set up boundaries when it came to this person. And you setting up those boundaries it is what re is going to resolve this conflict within your connection. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that has what has caused this person to mature. And it's like now, with, with the two of you, you do, just don't understand. You guys are a power couple. This has the ability to be amazing, y'all's creativity. With the two of you guys together, woo! This could also be a child coming for the two of you guys, okay? Because we have that here. That could be something that's coming, that, you know. But whatever this is, it's going to cause a lot of maturity within this relationship for it to come together. You setting up boundaries, you standing in your power, but you still showing love, compassion, understanding, and empathy. And that's how, look, you guys' hearts are one. And with that, setting up boundaries, but still in a way that still shows compassion and love, causes this person to mature. What's coming for this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides? What is coming 
for this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides. What shit? What is coming for this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Advice from the universe. Brand new motherfucking opportunities for you guys. The Ace of Pentacles, right? Damn, a windfall of abundance. Good fortune. Ooh, this is something beautiful. Y'all might be, you know, moving into a new home together. You just don't see it. But you're worried as fuck because with the Knight of Wands, that's the player of the deck, right? They're in and out. They make promises and then they're gone again. You know what I'm saying? It sounds good at the time, but when it comes to down to it, this person, like, isn't isn't about what they say but i feel like this is gonna be such like the passion in this relationship and the confidence that the both of you guys have it's like both of you guys aren't like jealous creatures i don't fucking know but this is beautiful man the sun at the bottom what you don't see coming pure happiness pure fucking bliss let me get one more advice from the universe spirit on this situation the nine pre empress you're motherfucking almost there queen of motherfucking pentacles they're in a married situation wow look at this there is you the nine of pentacles pre empress on her motherfucking shit can do yo shit do whatever the fuck you want to do and this is this energy walking away from uh, like the queen of pentacles though this is like a wife of the deck you know somebody that they're in a a a, situ a real relationship with that they're they're leaving that behind this is walking away the need to move on seeking more from life than what you're experiencing choosing to make big life changes a change in priorities leaving home and i feel like it's like you're in this both of these i feel like are even your energy because they want to wipe you up they want to marry you you're surrounding their energy and forcing them to move forward and walk away they see you for everything but they're trying to take a sensible approach to this situation okay yeah let's see can i get one advice from the angel spirit on this situation one advice from the angels on this situation we got a star you deserve the best reach for the stars with is this supposed to be Astrea or something? You know, a star? I don't for friggin'. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. And that's what you have done. And when you wonder, like, why have we went through this? Why am I sitting here alone? Why am I, you know, whatever this is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, because spirit thinks you deserve the best. You don't deserve to be in no third party or be, to be fucking sitting there waiting on home on nobody. That's why they have to work through this shit. Isabella yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectation so you have to keep a positive outlook on this situation because now the timing is right where they felt like the time wasn't right before because you deserve the best now it's the time is right because this person is walking away and actually ending something in order to come towards you okay all right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.